I'm Nancy Howell and from Western Cuyahoga Audubon and I have the privilege of speaking with Julie Zikafus who is going to be a speaker here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History as part of the Explorer Lecture Series. But in our meantime, we, we really, really want to chat with, do a nice brief chat about, oh, her books. She has some wonderful books and just nature in general. And I think my very, very first question is, how did you get involved with nature? Well, in the great roulette of parents choosing, the cosmos chose parents for me who were already interested. Wow. And my father was a farm boy from Southern Iowa. And he knew something about everything. He taught physics and math, and he was an incredible natural naturalist. You know, he just he just knew stuff. Like I could ask him what a shrike's nest looked like, and he could tell me. Uh, one of the stories I love to tell about him is his his older brother Harold um, had actually been to Alaska, which for an Iowa farm boy is oh, a wow. big yeah. deal. Yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, Harold got it in his mind to find out if an owl had a gizzard or not. So he mm -hmm. set pole traps in the winter on fence posts and caught owls and they cut them open to see if they had gizzards. So that was the kind of curiosity <laughs> that I come from. So wow. I was very, very fortunate to have a mother who is very, was very um, articulate, very interested in the language, and she kept a huge dictionary in the kitchen all the time. So, you know, to look up stuff that she didn't know. So um, I had, with that foundation, you know, of, of just innate curiosity, I, how could I not yeah. be? Brothers know? and sisters? Uh, youngest of five. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And did everybody kind of go into that naturalist realm? No, no, not really, although all of us garden and, you know, and are very interested. I'm kind of the bird factotum. Uh -huh. You know, I get the photos and the emails and stuff uh -huh. and they and the questions about how to put up the bluebird box yes, and things yeah. like that. So, right, right. yeah, so I'd say I'm probably the most heavily afflicted, mm -hmm. but uh, happy to be so. And how about your kids? Uh, let's see, Liam and Phoebe, right? Liam, yeah. Liam is 18. He's graduating oh, no. from Marietta High School. <laughs> Can't believe it. But he's going to be an artist. He's uh, entering West Virginia University in Morgantown to study painting wow. and drawing. And he's already very, very accomplished. Wow. I mean, I was not doing at 18 what he's doing. <laughs> but he's had a little bit of homeschooling there, you oh, know. <laughs> and, uh, and my daughter, Phoebe, is a double major in Spanish and oceanography at Bowdoin that. College in Maine. And she is probably going to go really sure, you know, she, what yeah. she's going to do right, with all yeah. that, but what can't she do? So. Yeah, through your books, I've, I've kind of grown up with your kids yes. in a way, mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of, it's really nice to hear how the family's doing. Yeah, yeah, they're in my talk tonight. I have some oh, up-to-date photos. Oh, good, 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 pretty, good. They've grown into some really pretty attractive adults, you know, it's kind of surprising. <laughs> That's nice.